On today's show, we have a Byzantine three bar crucifix, two St. Anne and Mary statues, the bracelet for life, which comes with a novena prayer for pregnant women, and an Our Lady of Mount Carmel rosary bracelet. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello and welcome to EWTN Religious Catalog. I'm Debbie Cowden and I'm here with my friend Ryan Penny today. Ryan, I'm really excited that we get to talk about both Our Lady of Mount Carmel today and Saint Anne, who is one of my favorite saints. Well, if fans of the catalog show haven't noticed already, Debbie, we tend to base these shows on the liturgical calendar. We have some really important Marian feast day for the month of July, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, but mm -hmm. also the feast day celebrating the parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joachim and St. Anne. So I'm glad we're showing the St. Anne and Blessed Virgin Mary items because I think together St. Anne and Mary help us to appreciate the other that much more. Exactly. I mean, it was in the womb of St. Anne that the Immaculate Conception took place. And she's such a great role model for both mothers and grandmothers, as we'll discuss a little bit more, but uh, it's great to be able to celebrate the, the liturgical calendar with our EWTN family. And so as you continue to watch EWTN Religious Catalog, you'll really get a big picture of our faith and the, the rich and beautiful heritage. Are you ready to dive in? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Well, the Feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, like we said, is in July, on July 16th. And the Blessed Mother appeared to Simon Stock in the 13th century, according to tradition. She gave him the brown scapular, which is a sacramental that many Catholics wear even to this day. Our Lady of Mount Carmel promised Simon Stock that whoever wore it faithfully would receive special protection. So in honor of her feast day, we have this Our Lady of Mount Carmel Olive Crystal Rosary Bracelet. This is gorgeous, you're gonna love this. This original seraphim heirloom rosary bracelet is made with 12 millimeter facet cut exotic Asian crystals and genuine cream freshwater pearl accent beads. Now the bronze end metal that I'm showing you right here features Our Lady of Mount Carmel holding the child Jesus. And I love this bracelet because I just feel like it could, um, it could be more dressed up if you're wearing something more formal. For women, of course, maybe not for you, Ryan. Um, the but men can appreciate it. They can appreciate it, absolutely. It's, it's a holy reminder that you can wear every day. Um, it seems as though it's very durable and it's definitely a good talking point too. So I love your bracelet, where'd you get it? Wow. Potential great conversation starter. Absolutely, and you can have it blessed and it would be a sacramental then as well. The next item that we have, uh, we actually have two Our Lady of Mount Carmel statues. And this first one that I have here is hand painted with exquisite details and a soft porcelain like finish. It's absolutely beautiful. It measures 10 inches high. And the next statue features Our Lady of Mount Carmel seated with Jesus on her lap and a large brown scapular in her left hand. And this statue measures eight inches high. And these have some good weight to them too. Um, you know, it's great to have statues of the Blessed Mother around your home because she is a mother to us all. And also she reminds us that we are called to imitate her because she always points us to her son. And so she was a perfect disciple of Christ. Um, she's a model of perfection for all of us. And I believe it was St. Maximilian Colby who said, you can never love the Blessed Mother too much. So don't be afraid of loving her. Don't be afraid of saying, Mary, I give my all to you. Help me to be more like you and help me to be like your son. We certainly can never love her more than her son does. Oh, absolutely not. No, so. And, and so when we have these holy reminders around our home, it is that great reminder. Um, another great reminder that you can have of your devotion to the Blessed Mother is with the brown scapular. And the brown scapular is one of the most beloved sacramentals in the church. Our Lady of Mount Carmel told St. Simon Stock, receive my beloved son, this scapular of thy order, it is the special sign of my favor, which I have obtained for thee and for thy children of Mount Carmel. He who dies clothed with this habit shall be preserved from eternal fire. It is the badge of salvation, a shield in time of danger, and a pledge of special peace and protection. So next we have this brown wool scapular that I'm holding here. And as you can see, this special scapular features a picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and a picture of St. Jude, who is the patron saint 
of hopeless causes. And the scapular is made of 100% wool and comes on a 36 inch brown cord. And the scapular comes with a card with the blessing of the holy scapular on it that may be used by your priest when blessing the scapular and enrolling you. Now, I do want to mention, Ryan, that this is not a Catholic superstition. Um, this isn't a guarantee of salvation. So we don't wear it as a good luck charm, like, oh, I have to make sure I put my scapular on every morning because if I get in a car accident and die, then I want to make sure that I'm saved. <laughs> um, I have a Catholic friend who said that he has one scapular that he wears every day and one that he wears just when he's in the shower because he doesn't want to slip and fall. Yeah. That's not what we believe as Catholics. Um, it is a devotion. And so the idea is when you're wearing this scapular, it truly is a reminder of your devotion to the Blessed Mother and your call to be like her son. Exactly. We're, st we're still supposed to be just as committed uh, Christians as we would be as we would be without it. It's just meant to be a constant daily reminder to us that we want to be protected by the Blessed Mother and we always want to make sure that we're under her mantle. Exactly. And, you know, if this scapular maybe is too big for you, we have other options available at EWTNRC.com, too. Lots of different. Too. Just go into EWTNRC.com, go to that search bar, type in scapular, and you'll see all the different options that we have. Well, every day is a good day on the catalog show, Debbie, but especially any time we show anything from the East. Byzantine iconography is always so rich, both aesthetically and theologically, and it is no different with this cold cast bronze Byzantine three bar crucifix. It's made of cold cast bronze and it's hand painted with gold accents. It features God the Father at the top with Our Lady Queen of Heaven, Star of the Sea, surrounded by two angels. On each end of the middle beam next to our Lord's pierced hands are Saint John the Beloved and Saint Mary Magdalene. And notice the true trumpeting angels on the lower crossbar with two skulls below to symbolize Jesus' triumph over sin and death as all Byzantine artwork is so good at depicting. This crucifix measured 16 and 3 quarter inches and it comes with a free holy card that features St. Mary Magdalene whose feast day is July 22nd. So we've got two St. Anne and Mary statues. Take a look at this first one. As the mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the grandmother of our Lord, St. Anne is a very powerful intercessor for our own families. St. Anne is a patron saint for pregnant women and all mothers as well as grandmothers, childless couples, housewives, and did you know this? Canada. This statue is hand painted and measures six and one quarter inches high. And when you purchase this statue, you'll also receive a free St. Anne holy card. We need to know that when we look at these statues, we can remember that Pope St. John Paul II taught about St. Anne. He said that Mary's mother should be a constant source of inspiration in today's family and social life. The Holy Father asked that we pass on to one another the spiritual legacy of Christian life, like St. Anne passed her faith on to Mary. You know, that's a really important thing to remember, Debbie, is that it was Mary's fiat that brought salvation into the world, and it was because of the great faith that she had. It's like, well, who passed that faith on to her other than her parents, St. Anne and St. Joachim? So we, uh, you know, like I said, the, they, these two saints together help us to appreciate the other that much more. Or we wouldn't have the Blessed Virgin Mary if it weren't for St. Anne and her faithfulness. We all know about the Divine Mercy Chaplet, the St. Michael Chaplet. Uh, the St. Anthony Chaplet, but did you know that there is a Chaplet of St. Anne? The Chaplet of St. Anne dates back to 1875. This is a wonderful prayer, especially when you're praying for your kids or grandkids. And also, many young women ask for St. Anne's intercession when they want to meet their future husband. I wonder if that works for if you want to meet your future wife. I'm sure it would help. The Chaplet comes with prayer instructions in both English and Spanish. You know what I really love about Saints Anne and Joachim is what? that they're, they're such a beautiful role model for both parents and grandparents because, you know, it's a nice thought to think, you know, they're just the patron saint of grandparents because they were Jesus' grandparents, but really they, they not only raised the Blessed Mother in the faith, but they also protected her from harm. Saint Joachim made sure that she was kept away from anything that was common or unclean. And like you had said, raised her up in the faith well. And parents and grandparents both have a call to raise 
the children in the faith and also to protect them from harm. What a great responsibility that is for parents and grandparents and what a great need that we have to pray for the protection and the guidance of Saints Anne and Joachim. So if you're looking for a gift for your parents or your grandparents, then I would consider getting some sort of devotion to Saint Anne or Saint, Saint Anne and Joachim together. And um, it's so important to, to remember Saint Anne as a pro-life saint because she prayed for a child. They were childless and that was um, considered a, a stain or, or um, something shameful mm -hmm. in their time. Yeah. And so they, they prayed and God answered their prayers abundantly by giving them a perfect, yeah. beautiful. That was the worst misfortune that you could have had as a first century Jew. And also I like them so much because they help us to remember that our, our Lord has a whole lineage going way, way, way back. And Mary, um, of course, she's the mother of God um, and, and, and an ancient title for Saint Anne and Joachim. They're called the ancestors of God, which is a really beautiful truth to meditate on. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, Ryan, did you know that right now we are offering free standard shipping in the continental U.S. for online orders that are $75 and up? And all you have to do to take advantage of that free shipping is use the promo code FREE, that's F-R-E-E, -E, when you're checking out online. That's a good deal. It's a great deal. And remember that when you're shopping at EWTNRC.com, every purchase that you make, uh, benefits the mission of EWTN. So by getting these holy reminders for your own home, you're helping to support the mission of Mother Angelica as well. Amen. And so while you're shopping at EWTNRC.com, you can also pick up this bracelet for life. And this unique Novena bracelet features eight millimeter pearl-like glass beads, tiny Swarovski crystal accent beads, and antiqued silver spacers between each of the beads. And it includes a small crucifix, a miraculous medal, and a Saint Anne and Mary medal. And the nine beads symbolize the nine months of pregnancy as well as the nine days of prayer for a novena. So there's a lot of beautiful symbolism. And this bracelet was designed exclusively for EWTN. So it's very special. You won't find it anywhere else. I'm, I never thought about the nine months in the womb. That's perfect. I think about it all the time, but that's yeah. because I'm pregnant and I'm <laughs> counting down. <laughs> and when you order this bracelet, it also comes with a novena prayer to St. Anne. And I know that any Catholic woman, whether she's expecting her first or her tenth child, would love this bracelet. And wouldn't it be so nice to give this to your daughter or your daughter-in-law who's expecting or who's praying for a child? And for those of us who are strongly pro-life, it would also be a wonderful reminder for us to pray for those who are pregnant, especially those who have crisis pregnancies or high-risk pregnancies. So this is a beautiful holy reminder that can be for anyone. Don't think that it's just for pregnant women. That's why I'm so glad that we're showing these Saint Anne and Saint Mary items together today because they, these holy reminders can help us to remember and to, uh, of course, like to learn more about these great saints who were pivotal players in salvation history, but also to remind us that they are very real. They're not just ancient stone figures in the past. They're alive and real. In fact, more alive and real than we are. And by and fully God's, alive. right, and by God's grace, they are ready and more than able to help us in our needs today. We just have to ask them. That's right. And another holy reminder that we have um, is a little bit of a different approach, but it's a brand new DVD that's titled Discovering James, Saint of the Way. If you want to talk about powerful saints who made a big impact in the world, we want to talk about Saint James. And in this program, you'll follow Father Nathan Cromley and a group of pilgrims as they set out on a 60-mile trek along the legendary way of Saint James. That's the Camino de Santiago mm -hmm. de Compostela. And this is a compelling look at the rich legacy, life, and ministry of Christ's Apostle, as you can see here. Since the ninth century, Spain has claimed the honor of possessing his relics, the traditional pilgrimage to his great shrine at the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela, known as the Way of St. James, has been the most popular pilgrimage for Western European Catholics from the early Middle Ages onwards. After the pilgrimage to Rome and the Holy Land, it is the most famous and most frequented pilgrimage in the Christian world. 
The running time for this DVD is one hour, and EWTN will be airing this program on July 25th, which also happens to be the Feast of St. James. So you can pre-order your copy today, and then the estimated ship date is August 3rd. And I also want to mention, too, that um, there's a special Facebook group that EWTN has for this pilgrimage where you'll get exclusive photos, videos, behind the scenes, and reflections from when they were actually filming this pilgrimage. And it was just last year, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yep. And, and they ended up in, um, in Santiago de Compostela mm -hmm. in that shrine on the Feast of St. James. So it's really, really fascinating. I do think you'll like it. Um, if you go to facebook.com slash groups slash EWTN Camino, you'll be able to join that group and have access to those special videos as well. And then you can share your thoughts about the DVD once you order it and once it's sent to you. The next item that I have, since we're talking about St. James, whose feast day is July 25th, is the Apostles' Wall Crucifix. And this unique crucifix features all 12 of the Apostles, three of them at the end of each beam. Most of the Apostles were martyred for their faith, so this crucifix should remind us that all Christians should be willing to give our lives for Jesus. And especially in this day and age, many of them do. After all, Jesus gave his life for us, and he promised us that in this world we'll face trials and tribulations, but we are not made for this world. We were made for heaven. So what a beautiful reminder of that, and this crucifix measures 12 inches high. I love that cross because to me it's a great picture of Ephesians chapter 2 that says that the household of God, which is the church, is built on the foundation of the apostles and of course uh, the blood of the apostles as well. You know. And even though all 12 of the apostles weren't present at the crucifixion, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't stay away for long and the Lord blessed them with the gifts of the Holy Spirit and empower them to go out and to spread the gospel and to build the church and that's exactly what they did. So mm -hmm. what a great reminder for all of us. Exactly. It's so important to have good models of our faith and you know one one person that I really look up to is Dr. David Anders and so we have a special Dr. David Anders book and free DVD set and this set includes the book titled The Catholic Church Saved My Marriage Discovering Hidden Grace in the Sacrament of Matrimony and in this book Dr. David Anders shares his personal discovery and offers a robust defense of the church's teaching on marriage even the most controversial topics like divorce, remarriage, gay marriage, and contraception. And with the church's teachings and the writings of the saints as his guide, Dr. Anders offers practical, time-tested ways to live in peace despite an unhappy marriage, insight on the value of suffering, and ways to overcome reluctance and to forgive grave offenses. And the set also includes a free DVD with an episode of The Journey Home with Dr. David Anders. And you know, when you listen to Dr. Anders on Called to Communion today, you would never know that he struggled with his marriage, that he and his wife had contempt for each other, um, and that they were really, really in a dark, difficult place. But it was through the Catholic Church and his, his conversion into the Catholic Church and, and his wife's as well, that they were able to restore their marriage. And what a beautiful example for all of us that the church has stood the test of time. Her teachings are tried and true and that we find peace and we find hope and we find our salvation ultimately through the Catholic Church. Yeah, Debbie, I don't think that this book could have been any more timely because we know that the sacrament of marriage Satan despises and it's and it's under attack all the time especially in this day and age and we need the help to know what is this gift that God's given us to help strengthen married couples to not only just make it through their marriage but to actually thrive and to actually that marriage that same marriage to be a, a vehicle for them both to grow in holiness and that's a that's a message of hope that the world desperately needs to hear and I so I thank God for Dr. Andrews who's able to share what the, what God has done in his marriage to be able to share it with the world because we so desperately need to hear this message. It is it is a call to daily conversion and reversion. I have a confession to make Debbie. Yes Ryan. So when I was doing one of the catalog shows with Johnette last like November December when we were showing mugs she asked me if I like coffee and I said no in fact, if I had a coffee mug, I'd much rather put orange juice inside of it. Um, but I have to admit, I've kind of become a coffee person recently. Really? What a miracle. I have black coffee in the morning. It just is like, 
I never thought that would happen to me. But so you need some holy reminder mugs now. Exactly. Why not make the most of the experience? And so <laughs> I think I might want to get myself this EWTN News Nightly mug. Check this out. This is a... Uh, it's sharp. It's, it's very, really It's nice. very, very sharp looking. You can help spread the news. The good news with your very own EWTN News <laughs> Nightly coffee mug. This is a 15-ounce mug. And of course, this microwave and dishwasher safe would be perfect for curling up on the Lazy Boy at your home while you watch News Nightly and sipping on a nice mug of coffee at night. Next, we have a book that was recently featured on Women of Grace. It's Jesus Approaches, What Contemporary Women Can Learn About Healing, Freedom, and Joy from Women of the New Testament. Speaker and author Elizabeth M. Kelly shares vivid stories of New Testament women whose encounters with Jesus freed them to flourish in life. These stories come with moving accounts from Elizabeth's own life and from other women to demonstrate that finding healing, strength, and wholeness in Christ, for which we were all created, begins with bringing our own brokenness to the Lord. You know, Debbie, one of my uh, favorite moments from the New Testament is Jesus speaking with the woman at the well. Um, and uh, in fact, all of his encounters with women all throughout the New Testament are so, you know, as a man, I can appreciate it because it, it shows the side of Jesus, like especially like, you know, with the woman at the well, even when he told her, yes, you have been with all of these men and the man you're when with right now is not your husband. Um, when it's coming from Jesus, it's not this condemnation. It's letting her know that I know who you are. And not only that, but that story really speaks to the heart of the woman where women want to find happiness and they want truth, beauty, and goodness. And it's written on our hearts to pursue good, but the world has a different idea of what good is and what we should be pursuing and who we are as women and who we ought to be. But Jesus says, you're made for so much more than that and I have a beautiful plan for you. And I like what you said about how there's no judgment coming from Christ. Exactly. And when we as women, um, I really love this book because it, it speaks to a woman directly and it addresses her as sister. And um, Elizabeth Kelly really reminds us that when we are strengthened as women, then we're empowered to help other women as well, which is so important because we have forces coming at all angles telling us, be this, be that, do this, do that, look like this, look like that. And if, when we're strengthened as women in Christ, we can say, no, this is who you are. This is who God made you to be. And so I think this is a fantastic book for your friends, your girlfriends, for your sisters. Um, if you love the women in your life, then I think this is the book that you need to get for them. Yeah, and these encounters that our Lord has with these women in the New Testament, they, they, they paint this perfect picture of the fact that, you know, he's the bridegroom. He's, he's, he's God, he is the king, he is the Lord, and he wants to offer the healing that he offers to these women. That's what he wants to give to the whole church. And so these powerful stories of these women in the New Testament um, can r really be a great lesson for all of us. And here's a book that was recently featured on EWTN Bookmark, Sanctify Your Daily Life. Whether you're a monk, a manager, whether you change tires or change diapers, you can transform your work into a source of strength, holiness, and even joy. Venerable Stefan Colonel Vyshinsky, friend and mentor of Pope St. John Paul II, offers advice that will teach you how to avoid burnout at home or at the office, how work can help you discover and overcome hidden character flaws, how you can learn from your failures on the job, how to develop inner peace, and so much more. And now here's a bookmark brief in which Doug Keck discusses this book with EWTN publishing editor Brandon McGinley. I think it's a great example of a piece of work that is um, that is timeless. It comes from a particular era. Uh, it, it emerges in, in the mid 1940s out of communism and Nazism in in Poland, um, and yet the insights that Kornowiczynski has about work uh, are so um, are so relevant to today's world. Saint Jose Maria Escrivá said, "Understand this well: there is something holy, something divine, hidden in the most ordinary situations." and it is up to each one of you to discover it. Most of us can't stay in a chapel all day, but we're all called to live our lives for the Lord. So in our humble, ordinary lives, we should try to shine our light for others and grow closer to Jesus. There is nothing more extraordinary than that. And now here's a recap of the items that Debbie and I showed you today. 
as well as information about how to order. The Olive Crystal Rosary Bracelet of Our Lady of Mount Carmel is item number BC31 for $138. The Our Lady of Mount Carmel Painted Statue is item number 76177C for $60. The Our Lady of Mount Carmel 8-inch statue is item number 42093 for $35. The brown scapular with Our Lady of Guadalupe and St. Jude is item number 2218 for $6. The cold cast bronze Byzantine three bar crucifix and free holy card is item number 75930K for $72. The six inch St. Anne and Mary statue with free holy card is item number 40395K for $40. The other St. Anne and Mary statue is item number 41246 for just $30. The blue glass chaplet of St. Anne is item number 85CB for $7. The bracelet for life made exclusively for EWTN is item number 737 for $39.95. Discovering James Saint of the Way DVD is item number HDDJ for $15. The Apostles Wall Crucifix is item number 40473 for $33. The Dr. David Anders Book and Free DVD set is item number 80527K for $17.95. And the brand new EWTN News Nightly Coffee Mug is item number MUG66 for just $15. And the book by Elizabeth Kelly, Jesus Approaches, is item number 4728 for $16.95. Finally, we showed you the new book by Cardinal Vyshinsky, Sanctify Your Daily Life, item number 80640 for $18.95. To order your holy reminders, please visit us at EWTNRC.com. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Again, that's EWTNRC.com, or you can call us at 1-800-854-6316. Visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. And don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. Next time on EWTN Religious Catalog, we will show you a Seven Sorrows Chaplet a St. Clair and St. Francis medal, a Life on the Rock mug, and a Works of Mercy coloring book for the children in your life. Here are the air times. And remember, when you place an online order at EWTNRC.com, you can use promo code FREE -E and receive free standard shipping within the continental United States. There are so many items for you to choose from. Remember, for order $75 and up, you can receive free standard shipping. So we do hope you'll head out to EWTNRC.com. And until we see each other next time, thank you so much for watching. May God bless you and your family.